Today we are talking about planning your week. One of the biggest components to being successful is having a plan. It does take, take some time to put it together, but then once it's together, it really makes the rest of the week super easy. So this is what I do. I literally write out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekend's a little bit different. I'll explain that. And then um, what kind of the plan is. So both what I'm gonna have, but also if I'm gonna eat out, I don't wanna plan a meal for that. One, it's extra work. And if you have leftover food and it goes bad, then it's super frustrating because you wasted money. So. Um, I know I'm on Mondays. I need it quick because I need to get to work quickly. So I'm going to make a smoothie um, And then this Monday I happen to be going out for lunch. So I don't need a meal for that So I kind of just broke it down um, You can either do simple foods so like chicken pasta and broccoli So they're just super simple ingredients or you could do like a recipe So these are things that I know what's in my stir fry if it takes some time. I would start super simple um, but if you want to put a recipe in there, that's fine. This is just a, like a map, and then we're gonna get a little bit more detailed. So um, if there's nothing going on, or if I need to bring it to work, so this one's bringing it to work, I'll make overnight oats, I'll grab it and I'll take it to work, um, versus like a cereal and fruit that I could have at home. Um, so for example, with lunch and dinner, you can always make something and say leftovers. So you wanna make sure that you know um, if you're gonna have extra food, if you can put it somewhere, it's based on preference as far as do you want um, to have leftovers, do you wanna have something different every day, you just don't wanna have a ton of extra food in the fridge because it gets super frustrating. Um, so Thursday, Friday, weekends. You can deal with weekends two ways. I mean, you can deal with weekends a lot of ways, but two ways that I recommend. Um, one is just planning. So if you know you have a birthday party, you want to plan to have a really good meal before it so that you're not going um, starving. Or if you want to plan it out um, to make sure that you have food, sometimes people um, plan the whole week and then get to the weekend and they have no more food left. Or if you tend to over make food, whether you live by yourself or you just you know, make extra food for the family, um, those can be the days that you kind of mix and match things. Um, again, planning ahead is super, super helpful. The second component to planning for the week is planning for the next week. So you have all this down, it's fantastic, you spent the time. Now, when are you grocery shopping? And you want to allocate a day um, to doing that. When are you meal prepping? It doesn't have to be a six hour meal prep on Sunday. It could be um, I'm making things like, I'm gonna make the crock pot, crock pot fajitas and I'm gonna have those for leftovers. So I'm making those on Wednesday night. So this doesn't necessarily have to be one day, but just having an idea of when you're making things. And then the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is you're super consistent, you do all this, you grocery shop, you meal prep, you're great this week. Next week, this you know Sunday's when you normally do it, you have a birthday party all day and you can't do it. And then the next week it's thrown off and then it kind of has that snowball effect. So the goal is taking a look at the next week, hopefully you have an idea of what's going on so that you know if Sunday's not gonna be good, I gotta do it on Saturday. So then you're right ahead of the game and you can be successful. So we're gonna talk about making a grocery list next uh, video. So stay tuned, talk to you later.